So now let's think about the economy in general. So there are all kinds of people, no matter what the economy is, there are always those who thrive in all economies, just as there are usually those who don't thrive in all economies. In the best of times, there are people who don't do well. And in the worst of times, there are people who do well. So now let's say that you have, through reading this book four times or just through the power of your own wanting, you've tuned yourself into appreciation for these beautiful things and appreciation for the way things flow to you. So now that's the vibration that you're offering. So which of those people that we just described are you more likely to rendezvous with? You're going to rendezvous with those who have something for you and you something for them. But what about a person who's pessimistic and worried and complaining? Who in the economic community are they going to rendezvous with? Yeah. Those who are complaining yeah. gravitate to each other and then they complain louder. But they don't get improvement. Even your, your government hears them complain and says, Oh, we must soothe those complaints, but you can't throw enough money at that complaining crowd because just like that spinning merry-go-round on the playground, it just throws them off in the bushes. In other words, you just can't give them enough because they're a vibrational mismatch to it, you see. Yeah, While those who are confident and secure and knowing about the well-being of the universe are magnetically attracting it. And you're right. Then those who are attracting it stand there all full and glistening and shiny and prosperous. And those who are outside of the vortex, not attracting it, are annoyed by that. And they say there is injustice and we need to level the playing field. And we say there is no injustice. Law of attraction gives everyone exactly what they are offering vibrationally. The more I appreciate, the more comes to me. Right. The more I make peace with where I am and the more I appreciate whatever I give my attention to. But for most people, that sounds so simplistic. There just has to be more. Oh, you have a secret donor that you're not owning up to. <laughs> I know that you've inherited your wealth and you're just pretending that it comes through your bliss. And then you could say, any story that works for you. In other words... As you argue for your limitations by messing with my story, you're just arguing for your limitations. I argue for my prosperity. You argue for your limitations. It is exhilarating to stand in a place where you know what you don't want, which causes you to consciously become aware of what you do want. And then to recognize that it's not easy to think about what you do want because what you don't want is more active. And then to make a decision that you're going to make what you do want on this subject more active than what you don't want. It's what we've just been talking about, about personality traits in others. So then through the power of your mind, you do some focus wheels or you make some lists of positive aspects, but you deliberately think a better feeling thought until you've trained your vibration into a better feeling place. And then, now that part was fun in and of itself, we think, and you do. But then the fun really starts because now the universe starts showing you, now that you're a cooperative component, starts showing you how much it can deliver to you that matches that. And so just avalanches of how about this? You like that? How about this? Well, you like that? How about this? Well, you like that? How about this? Until you begin to feel the power of the directing of your thoughts relative to everything. It is so exhilarating. You are a creator. And when you are deliberately creating, it is over the moon yeah, and crazy. you're all creating you're all cre creating your point of attraction is emanating you can't turn it off you are creating but creating deliberately is so much fun and creating by default not so much fun yeah. attracting to you by virtue of your vibration and not knowing what you're doing so not knowing what to do about it that's not fun but delivering a thought on purpose and shoring it up with intentionality and feeling it click into place until it's naturally how you feel and what you think. And then watching the universe respond to that active vibration within you. Mm, that is fun.